It's a really important day for people to put their sleeves and call for action from our government. Here in Canada, you know, we keep shoveling subsidies into the big oil and gas companies to develop the, the tar sands and, and to exploit more and more coal instead of uh, putting the focus on the solutions. But these grassroots gatherings are really important for keeping our commitment, keeping our eye on the ball. The big earth ball is bouncing around uh, behind us here. And, uh, that means putting our investments in the solutions, not into the pollution. Ultimately, we need government action as well, uh, because uh, if we haven't got investments in public transit, people are left with no choice to get around but to use their cars. And uh, those kinds of solutions are what we need. Here's the big bouncing ball. The, the kids get it. It's time Mr. Harper got it. We have so many young enthusiastic Yeah, I'm, I'm meeting them, like, for, for example, and I'm Way to go. see you all here. Our sincere thanks for coming out to support this terrific event. My name is Glenn McIntosh, founder of Echo Sandy Daughter and a core participant in the Toronto Climate Campaign who helped organize this event. The Toronto Climate Campaign is a coalition of representatives from unions, environmental and social justice organizations, students and citizens whose key initiative is to educate, motivate and mobilize a collective mass movement to demand equitable and just solutions to global warming. Our goal is to effect an urgent shift by governments, businesses and institutions toward aggressive policies that promote sustainable living for all peoples and all species. Our immediate demand, Kyoto now! To get laws changed, to prioritize, preserve, restore the natural systems that sustain our very survival, sacrifice the Starbucks. Give a few dollars to the folks around with coming around with bucket. And now it's my privilege to introduce your host for Reclaim Earth Day U-Turn on Climate Change, VP Equity, President-elect, University of Toronto Students' Union. Ladies and gentlemen, some warm, warm applause for Miss Sandy Hudson. Hey, everybody. That's right, I'm here representing 41,000 students at the University of Toronto Students' Union, and I also bring you greetings on behalf of the Canadian Federation of Students, representing over half a million students across the country. Today, we stand in solidarity with you, calling on both the Harper and McGinty governments to take immediate action to halt change in this province and in this country. Good afternoon, sisters and brothers. I want to tell you that I'm proud to be here on behalf of 195,000 women and men that work in every sector of the economy in Toronto, and that the labor movement in this city supports 100% Kyoto. 
supports 100% green jobs. It supports a future that is sustainable. And you know why we do that? Because there are no jobs on a dead planet. Am I right? Say it again. No jobs on a dead planet. No jobs on a dead planet. No jobs on a dead planet. No on a dead planet. And you know what we learned? My friends back in the early 90s, I'm a construction worker. When 30-40% of us were unemployed, we learned something from people like Jack Layton and Peter Tavins here who worked with us to create their Better Buildings Partnership. We put thousands of people back to work, retrofitting those buildings, building public transit, building green building codes for uh, social housing because they knew we've got to connect the issue of the environment and good jobs. That if those kids in James State, Jamestown or Jamestown or Melbourne want to have a future, that future has to be with good jobs and they have to be with green jobs. That's why we're here today, sisters and brothers. There is a fundamental that you're taught in Economics 101. A society can choose guns or butter. Peter Tabins has shown us, Jack Layton has shown us, other workers have shown us, ac environmental activists have shown us we can choose butter. But Stephen Harper is trying to make us choose guns. Billions of tax dollars are going to go into armaments and war because of the bad decisions this government's making. The other part of our commitment around Earth Day has to be that we want jobs, not bombs. Jobs, not bombs. Jobs, not bombs. Thank you very much.